COVID pandemic showed us clearly that scientists working closely with industry and public health partners and with patients and the community can deliver global transformative advances. Researchers across the world are playing a vital part in creating new vaccines and medicines, discovering more about how viruses behave and how to involve society in finding truly equitable solutions. The inaugural International Pandemic Sciences Conference, hosted in July 2023 by the Pandemic Sciences Institute at the University of Oxford, brought together a diverse group of experts from more than 40 countries to accelerate pandemic science breakthroughs. The one key message from this conference is that there are so many strands that contribute to effective pandemic response. We've tried to bring as many of them as possible together and give people the opportunity to hear about lots of different initiatives to improve our pandemic response for the future. In COVID, collaboration in many ways was spectacular in ways that we'd never seen before, especially in the very early parts of the pandemic. We are in an era of tremendous progress from the scientific point of view. The scientists also show their individual willingness to collaborate, to share, to discuss. This sort of conference should be a starting point of partnership between the North and the South in the area of research, manufacturing, development, detection. In two days of presentations, discussions and collaboration over coffee, over 450 delegates explored the very latest research on infectious diseases. Coming out of the sort of COVID bubble, being able to meet people in person again. Bringing people together, having the opportunity to have a one-to-one -one face conversation with the experts. It's a good place to, to share and then also to learn. We have to work together as a community. Different fields of people from medicine, government organizations. I can learn about their opinions, strategies from their perspectives. The views that they give are really important for shaping how the things that we need to consider when we do research. Very pleased to see partners like WHO coming in and advocating for equity. And for me, that was really quite inspiring and encouraging. To need to look at the posters and then see exactly what the young generation or the youngsters are doing and you know learn from them for some of the innovation that they are doing. Working together is the, the best way that we can be prepared for future pandemics. We need someone to organise this collective effort and I think that's what the Pandemic Science Institute will be going forward. Even a conference like this would never have happened without the COVID-19 pandemic. The fact that scientists, social scientists, philosophers are now sitting around tables is something new and it's something positive intermingle with people from different parts and and so this is definitely capacity building this puts the spotlight on emerging infections i'm very optimistic from what i've heard at this conference i believe that people are beginning to think globally i think collaboration and solidarity matters in the next pandemic nobody will be safe until we are all safe and the only way to achieve that is that the scientists give the example and collaborate and share and push for networks not clubs but global collaborative efforts. There's a message that Oxford wants us to come together. It's using the leverage that this institution has, it can bring people together so that together we can solve the problem. The pandemics, pathogens don't know borders. The more we collaborate uh, and not duplicate efforts and be more efficient across agencies, I think that would be a very, very big lesson for, for the next pandemic. We're all playing in the same team. Occasions like this conference help us to build that spirit. With sufficient determination and resources, we can accelerate life-saving health interventions and safeguard global health and economic stability for future generations. <laughs>